Hey guys, okay, so today's lesson, I'm going to show you a little bit about the page setup panel in Silhouette. Um, typically when you open up your software, it will be the first panel that pops up over here on the right hand side. Um, but if it doesn't for any reason, you can always access it up here in the corner. It looks like a little page icon. And when you hover over it, it says open the page setup panel. So go ahead and click on that. And we're just gonna go over the first tab today. There are three tabs up here, um, but I don't wanna make this video super long. So I will break it up into separate videos. Um, so today we're gonna talk about the first tab, which is the page setup. Um, the first thing you're gonna see are these numbers one, two, and three. So the page setup panel is used for two purposes. One is for designing and two is for cutting. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about designing with the page setup panel first, and then we can talk about cutting um, just a little bit because that also is a separate video um, when it comes time to cut. So what it's asking for first is what machine are you using? I have a Cameo 4 um, Pro, so I have that selected automatically when I open up my Silhouette Studio. You can choose any um, Silhouette machine that you have, or you can choose none. I typically keep it on the Cameo 4 Pro um, because that gives me the most capabilities, plus I have one. Um, so that just makes it a little bit easier for me when I'm designing. Um, you can also choose none, but if you choose none, there are certain features that you will not be able um, to utilize when none is selected. For instance, these are our registration marks. When I click on the registration mark panel, it gives me an error. I have to have a machine selected in order for me to try to utilize the registration marks um, that are available in Silhouette Studio because there are certain machines that can't use the registration marks. So um, good rule of thumb, you can always keep your machine selected or you can leave it on none, but just know if you run into a roadblock like that, it may be because you haven't chosen your machine. Second is your cutting mat. So um, if you're cutting with a mat or if you're not, it doesn't matter. Um, you have the option to choose it here, but for design purposes, I usually leave that off because there's no need for me to have a mat while I'm designing, um, at least in the beginning stages. When it comes time to cut, um, I may want to, depending on what I'm cutting, make sure that my design fits on my cutting mat. So um, I'm just gonna select no for right now or none for right now. Your media size, so your media is your vinyl, cardstock, leather, whatever it is that you are cutting. Um, so it wants to know what's your media size. So when we get ready to cut, this is important that you put in the correct dimensions of your media. So if you're using an entire roll of vinyl and your design is let's say 12 inches wide by 14 inches long and you have a, a roll of vinyl that you know has probably 40 inches of vinyl on it, then you, know, you can make it like a 12 by 16 size. You don't have to worry about putting 12 by 40 um, because you're gonna know that it has the capability of cutting that much but the machine doesn't necessarily need to know that. And that will make more sense when it comes time to cut. Um, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave it 12 by 12 because what I actually use the media size for um, is for my design space. So if I were to come in here and select custom, right now um, it's give, putting it at 15 by 15. So I can change the width and the height to whatever I prefer. So let's say I was making a sign that's 15 inches by, um, you know, 24 inches long. I can come over here and I can change the height and look what it did. It changed my page. So I will use the page kind of as a guide for me to design to make sure that my design is gonna fit nicely on whatever size surface I'm, I'm putting the vinyl on. Um, you know, if, you're, if I'm making a sign and it's gonna be this long, I wanna make sure obviously this design wouldn't fit very nice on this size sign. So let's say I went to Home Depot, bought a piece of wood. It's a 15 by 24 inch piece. I'm gonna know eh, this probably isn't the right design for that size um, of wood. So I either need to cut down my wood to a good size or I need to choose a new design. So that's typically what I use my page setup. Uh, I'm sorry, my page space for. Um, I will come over here, select custom, and then I will manually change it to whatever size the surface is that I am going to be putting my vinyl or cardstock or whatever it may be on. Um, and that just gives you a little bit more freedom to come over here and, and customize it to whatever size. Because if I choose one of the preset sizes in here, if I say that my media is 12 by 12 inches, which is very common because when you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, Joann's, they have um, 12 by 12 inch sheets of vinyl that you can buy. So, you know, you could click that and you can go, okay, well, 
if I want to cut this entire design out on a 12 by 12, it's definitely going to fit. And if that's your end goal, then you're going to want to have it set at 12 by 12. So um, again, we're just designing right now. So nothing has to be perfect until it's time to cut. So that's your width and your height adjustment. If I were to have a cutting mat selected, let's say I did have my 12 by 12 inch cameo cutting mat selected. Most of the time, you're going to see it right here. It's going to look like this where you just see the edges of your cutting mat. Now, once I select that I am using a cutting mat, uh, let's see, this transparency right here is going to allow me to change it. So right now it's at 0%. That's why I can't see any of the cutting mat through my page. And then the further I move it to the right, you're going to see the grid lines on your mat. And this is really helpful if, let's say I want to cut just this red star, I can ungroup it. And then actually, let's do this. Let's move it off the mat first. Then I'll ungroup, grab the star, and then I can move it over here and place it on my mat. Now, because I can see the grid lines on my mat, now I know that I need to have, you know, roughly a four by four inch piece of red vinyl placed on my mat right here when I go to cut so that I could cut this star out and it will, um, it'll cut nicely. So that's when it's nice to have the grid line show. But again, that's when you're getting ready to cut. For right now, for design purposes, we don't really need that. So I will just, let me see, move that back. I will, um, typically leave that off until I'm ready to cut. So again, I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna choose none. All right, constrained media to cutting mat, that means that you're gonna keep, whatever media you're using will never be larger to, than the cutting mat that you're using. So if you check that, um, it will only allow your media to be as large as a cutting mat. It could be smaller, but it can't be any larger. Um, if we had two different dimensions right here, see right now we have a 12 by 12 inch. Um, if I were to change this to 15 inches, now I'm gonna have the option to have portrait or landscape. So when you click on this, it's gonna change whether you go from portrait to landscape for the orientation of your page. Also, because I selected no cutting mat, now the transparency is grayed out. I can't adjust the transparency because I'm not using a cutting mat. So that's something worth noting. Um, also, if you come over here, you can rotate the page along with your design just by clicking these little buttons right here. Um, lastly, you have show print border and show cut border. These are at the bottom. So I am just gonna go ahead and change this back to 12 inches just to make it a little bit easier to see. Um, show print border. So when you do a print and cut, you want to make sure that what you're printing is within the, per, the parameters to print. And um, most printers are set up to be an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So when I click on show print border, it's going to show me that. Right here is the arrows, um, the arrow that shows which way you're going to be feeding your media into the machine. So that's why this is an eight and a half, and then this is 11. So whatever is not within this print border will not be printed. Obviously, your printer is usually only able to print up to eight, eight and a half, eight and a half by eleven size sheet. So you're going to want to make sure that your design is within that um, eight and a half by eleven size. So that's what the show print border is for. It's just to let you know, like, hey, your design fits, or no, it doesn't. You need to resize it. Um, I sometimes that just comes on. Some I've seen a lot of times where. Um, People are confused because they have this extra line on their page. Um, I don't know if they selected something on their keyboard that made a pop up, but you can always access it here in your page setup panel underneath the page setup tab. You just are going to unclick it. And then also, just like the print border, you have a cut border. So your cut border is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be based off the machine you have. So if I selected that I only have, uh, let's say, just a cameo. Oop, this is a 12 by 12. Let me change it to 15 real quick. And I'm going to come in here and let's say, choose a cameo. And the cameo can only cut a 12 by or 12 inch wide of anything. So if I select that my media is 12 by 12 inches, it's only going to give me the option to cut 12 inches by 12 inches. 
So if I have a design, you know, that happens to be larger, that's not going to work so well. So that's what the cut border is for. It's showing you, hey, you have to keep your design within this border in order for it to cut correctly. And that will be based off the machine that you choose. So now if I come in here and I choose that I have the Cameo 4 Pro and I choose that my media is 15 by 15 inches because I have that capability. Now look what happened to my cut border, it adjusted because I'm saying that I have a machine that's capable of cutting wider than um, 12 inches. Um, if you can see down here at the bottom, it's got a cut, the cut border stops shy about an inch and a half before the edge of the media. So if I have a 15 inch tall piece of media um, selected, it's gonna stop at about 13 and a half inches. And that's because as you feed this into the machine and the machine is taking the vinyl and feeding it in and out to cut it, which we're gonna feed it in this way, when it gets to the very end and it's doing the very bottom of the design, it needs this space down here for the rollers to grip to. So if you don't have that down here, it's gonna mess up your design once it gets to the end and that's never any fun, that's wasted vinyl. So make sure that when you do go to cut your material, you want to make sure that you always have about an inch and a half to two inches longer than your actual design, probably even closer to three inches. That way you're not right up on the edge. I mean, you can move it up as close as you want, but you just want to make sure that you're going to have um, enough down here for enough vinyl or media down there for the rollers to grip to. Um, and this is only if you're kiss cutting when you're not using a mat. Now, I'm going to go back to the 12 by 12 inch size so I can show you what happens when we use a cutting mat. So when we select that we are using a cutting mat, it's going to give me the ability to cut. I'm going to take off my transparency. Now you see my 12 by 12 inch piece here. It's going to give me the ability to cut all the way to the bottom of my 12 by 12 inch piece. And I don't have to have any extra vinyl because it has a mat to grip to. So if I select that I am not using a cutting mat, it's going to make me use part of my um, 12 inches of media to, for the rollers to grip to, and I won't be able to cut right here. But if I am using a mat, I have the capacity to cut a full 12 inches because the mat itself has this extra lip on it. And again, you're going to want to you know, resize and make sure that your design will fit on it well before you send it to cut. So when I'm designing, I pretty much leave everything off other than I may select my Cameo 4 Pro um, and then everything else, I select none and then I select custom for my media size. So that way I can alter this as I go. Um, I don't like to have my cup border on, I just like to design. And then when it's time to cut, when I'm gonna send everything um, to my Cameo, and then click on the send panel up here, that's when all of this needs to actually be true. So I need to actually select the size of my media. I need to choose whether or not I'm using a cutting mat and I need to use, choose the machine that I'm using. So all of those things need to be accurate when it's time to cut. And I always, always, always double check my cut border or my print border, depending on what I'm doing, right before I send it to cut, just to make sure that everything's fitting okay. Because again, if I choose to kiss cut this without a mat, I need to make sure I've got that extra space down here. And it never hurts to give yourself like an extra inch or so. Um, anytime I try to be chintzy and go right up to the edge, sometimes I underestimate it and I end up, you know, messing up my cut. And because I was trying to be frugal and save myself an inch of vinyl, I just lost 12 or 13 inches of vinyl. So um, good rule of thumb, just always add in that extra inch or two. And right now it's set at 12 inches. So the full size of the page is 12 inches. That's what I have my media set to. So I would probably cut 13 inches off of my roll and put that in. Or if you leave it on the roll, then you're not really wasting any because if you have your roll um, and you just take that and feed it into the machine, then you're gonna have as much extra vinyl at the bottom that you need for it to grip to. So then you can say, okay, I have a 12 by 12 inch piece and I have plenty of space. Um, even though you're not cutting it off at the 13 inch or 14 inch mark. Okay, well, hopefully um, that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, um, leave them down in the comment box. And um, I will post the second tab, which is the grid style panel that you can see right here. I'm going to, going to make another video for that and I will post that at a later date.
Thanks guys and have a great day.